Let's have a quick chat about the types of files you see for vector data. The most common GIS vector data file you will see is the shapefile. This type of data is non-topological, but it does a fine job at storing geometry, aka points, lines, and polygons. It also does a good job of storing location and attribute information. Next up, we have AutoCAD files. I'll be honest, I've never used CAD files, although one of my many GIS jobs that I've had was converting CAD to GIS. I worked with a person whose expertise was CAD and I was the GIS expert. These types of data are compact binary files that store and describe the content of both 2D and 3D data. These are often used by engineers and architects. GML, or Graphical Markup Language, is a vector and raster data format. KML is similar to GML, but tailored to Google's platform. Why does it start with a K? Well, Google Earth was owned by a company called Keyhole, who invented KML, which was then bought by Google. GeoJSON is an open source vector format, which is often used for web mapping. Finally, Tiger are those census data files of all of the roads in the US. These aren't super common anymore. Instead, now these types of data come in shape files. Let's quickly just note what makes up a shape file. By now, you've probably noticed that on your computer, shape files are actually multiple files. They're made of the .shp, shx, a dbf, a prj, and XML. The main file that stores the geometry is the SHP. The SHX is an index file that stores that. The DBF is the database file, which stores the attribute data. The PRJ file stores the coordinate system information. And finally, the XML data is the metadata file. This is the data about the data set, which ArcGIS uses. Don't worry too much about knowing all of the components of a shapefile, but new, do know that there are multiple components. And when you share a shapefile with someone else, you need to remember to grab all of the components, not just the SHP file. Finally, when talking about different types of files, it makes sense to bring up the Esri GeoDatabase. While this is more than just a file, it is often how you might encounter vector or raster data. This is a native data structure for ArcGIS. R can also handle shapefiles, Excel files, all sorts of different files, but the GeoDatabase is what Esri wants you to use. It's their proprietary data format, and it is the structure they design their software around. An Esri GeoDatabase can store all types of data from CAD to GML to raster. The primary data vector data format is not a shapefile though, Instead, they're called feature classes. Remember when I said that shapefiles are non-topological, meaning that relationships between entities within the data are not stored. Geodatabases do a really good job at storing information like this instead. So if you want to do something like routing, maybe you work for a delivery service and you wanna create an optimal route for your drivers, you need topological relationships stored in your, in your data set. Remember, topological relationships tell the GIS how points, lines, and polygons connect. For instance, you can't just jump on I-5 wherever it looks like it crosses a road. You have to find an entrance ramp. Unlike shapefiles, you can't just share individual feature classes. You need to share the whole geodatabase or export these features to a new database or export them as a shapefile. For most of what you do with GIS, thinking about the geodatabase as a folder that contains raster and vector feature classes is sufficient for most beginner GIS users.